week's bottom line is, you can have joy because God keeps his promises. Now stand up. It's time to worship. Let's dance together. I've got joy down in my soul. I'm going to let this feeling take control. Joy down in my soul this day. And nothing's going to take it away. Joy down in my soul. I'm going to let this feeling take control. Whatever comes my way, I'll be okay. Cause I this month? Yeah, it's my favorite because we get to celebrate Jesus' birth. <sighs> I can't wait. Just a couple more weeks. This is my joy box. It has all the cool things that I like in it. I think last week I told you I was going to show you some things inside and I did. This week I'm going to show you a couple more things. But first, do you remember my friend Jack? Jack, can you say hi? Hi! We have a really cool Bible story for you today and it tells us all about how God keeps more promises. Man, we learned of his promises that last week, and now we have more promises where we get to learn this week. We can find our Bible story this week in the book of Luke 1, 5 through 25. Let's go ahead and get started. Are you ready? Oh, wait, I forgot. Jack wants to tell you what joy means. All right, Jack, are you ready? Go ahead. Joy, find you a way to be happy even when things don't go your way. Good job, Jack. He has a great memory. We just learned that. <sighs> so remember, joy is finding a way to be happy even when things don't go your way. Let's go ahead and get started and learn more about Elizabeth and Zachariah. Can you say Elizabeth and Zachariah? Good job. Okay, so Zachariah was a priest and he was loyal to God. He loved God with his whole heart. I know, isn't that cool? Yeah, and Zechariah obeyed God. One day, Zechariah was visited by angel Gabriel. And Gabriel told him, I know Elizabeth and you are really, really old, but you're gonna have a baby. Zechariah was like, say what? 
and he couldn't believe it. A matter of fact, he didn't believe it. So God decided to not allow him to talk anymore. So whenever he opened his mouth, nothing would come out. <sighs> and God said, since you didn't believe the angel I sent, you're not gonna be able to talk until the baby is born. Oh man. And then, guess what? Nine months later, there was a baby. And then they talked about what would they name him? They decided they were going to name him John. But Zachariah didn't get his voice back until he wrote the name on a piece of paper. Huh. See, God sent the angel Gabriel to tell Zachariah about a promise of a baby. Does that sound familiar? Yeah, we're gonna learn more about that in the next couple of weeks. And then it happened. You see, we don't have to worry because we can trust God and we can know that he keeps his promises. The cool thing about John is that he would help tons of people find their way back to God. Oh man, it's gonna be a good story. I can't wait to connect with you next week to continue on where our story leads. Okay, it's that time to look in my joy box. Are you ready? Let's see what other things make me joyful. <gasps> paper? What do I do with paper? Yeah, what do you do with paper? Guess what, Jack? I got something else. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I like to draw with my markers, and I have really cool markers too. Do you like to draw? Jack, do you like to draw? But remember, we're learning this one through the Bible stories. You don't get joy from a box or things. That joy is in our hearts because we have God in our hearts. Man. Okay, boys and girls, it's time to pray. So close your eyes, bow your heads, and repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for reminding us that we can have joy through you. Amen. Amen. Good job. Amen. Good job, Jack. You did good. We'll see you next week. Bye.